everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make delicious homemade pizza. This recipe right here, pretty much bomb. So easy to make, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, you make it Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my homemade pizza before. You gotta make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is I want you all to figure out what type of veggies or even if are you gonna use veggies for your recipe. Here at the Young's House, we love to pack on the ingredients. And one vegetable that we like to use is a nice sweet Vidalia onion, okay? If you don't like onions, don't use it. We're gonna use some green bell pepper, and then also we're gonna use some butter, but I'm gonna talk about a little later what we're gonna do really interesting with the butter. And then also we have some amazing turkey pepperoni. Turkey pepperoni is everything. If you've never tried it, give it a try sometime. And then also we're gonna have some sausage on our pizza, and this is the kind of sausage that I like to use. I like to use the breakfast sausage. Sometimes you'll see me use like another name brand, but we're gonna brown this up and get it nice and crumbly, throw it on our pizza. And also you're gonna need to decide whether you wanna make like a homemade crust, you might want to, okay? Or you could do what I like to do. I like to purchase this here, pizza crust, Every time we make a pizza here at the Young's house, I use this, it always turns out amazing. And then you're gonna need some pizza sauce or make it yourself. So I have some La Rosa's uh, pizza sauce we're gonna be using, use any kind of pizza sauce you wanna use. And we're gonna need, of course, some cheese. Have fun with the cheese. You know, whatever kind of cheese you and your loved ones like, that's what you're gonna use, but I do have this here. It's a mozzarella, I believe it's a mozzarella and a Parmesan mix, and it's simply delicious, especially for pizzas. And a couple of spices, so you can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. We're gonna be using some parsley flakes. We have some red pepper flakes for those of you that like a little bit of heat. And then we're gonna need some Italian dressing. We're gonna need some garlic powder, some salt, and of course some Parmesan cheese. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet yeah, so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all this here recipe. I mean, come on, who doesn't love pizza? We all love pizza. Give me a second, guys, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all this here recipe. This recipe is simple. Who doesn't love pizza? We love it here at the Young's house. And what's fun about it is, number one, you know who's making it. You know that your hands are clean. <laughs> you, know, you know that your kitchen is clean and you can put on what ingredients you like and how much of the ingredients you like. You know, sometimes you might go out or you know order your pizza and it doesn't get to you the way you want. You know, if you say you want extra mushrooms, then you want extra mushrooms. You can do that at home. You can't always count on the takeout person to do it the right way. Sometimes we like our pizzas here at the Young's house, well done. You know, and, and when we make it at home, we can make it exactly how we like. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We do have our um, sausage into the pan. And I'm gonna use my handy dandy masher here that one of my subscribers had bought me a couple of years back that I absolutely adore. So I like to use this for ground beef, for breakfast sausages and things like that. So once that starts browning up, uh, I'll be able to mash it up a little bit more. But what I wanna do right now is let's get started cutting up some veggies. Let, have fun with the recipe. Think about what toppings you and your family and loved ones enjoy. And if you have a loved one that just likes a plain old cheese pizza, make a plain old cheese pizza. Or you could even do a number like this. Let's just say you need one pizza, but you got one person that's really a stickler. You know, <laughs> there's always those in, that fa in a family. Um, this person says, I just want a cheese pizza. Well, you make one side of the pizza cheese and you make the other side loaded. You know, possibilities are endless when you're making pizza. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chop down into this bell pepper just like so. One of our pizzas is going to be, you know, like a loaded pizza. 
And then the other pizza, of course, you cannot make pizza without making a plain pepperoni and cheese. So we're gonna make a plain pepperoni and cheese, maybe put a little bit extra cheese. And then there's another ingredient that I almost forgot that we want on here, and I'll grab that here in a second, which is some mushrooms. You know, anytime I'm making a recipe, no matter what kind of recipe I'm making, if there's ever an ingredient that you don't like, just leave it out. You know, leave it out so you can still enjoy the recipe, you know. Okay, so we got our bell peppers chopped up. Any extra bell peppers, I'm just gonna put into a zip bag, a Ziploc bag, and use it for a later date. You know, most likely I'll use it today for dinner. You all know me and my bell peppers. We love bell peppers here at the Young's House. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the onion off camera because you know, the onion's gonna make me cry, of course. So when I come back, I'll show you all what we're gonna do next. Okay, so our sausage is browning up and really it is chopping up really nicely for me. Like I said, once it starts to brown up a little bit more, it chops down much easier. And I kind of like to leave the sausage in somewhat sort of big pieces, you know, because that's how I like my um, pizza. So here's what I like to do. This is really interesting. I like to take the red pepper flakes and we're going to put it in with the sausage, okay? And the red pepper flakes is going to stick on the sausage and it's just going to be amazing. And then what I also like to do to the sausage is add in a little bit of the Italian seasoning right into our sausage just like so. <laughs> Ooh, yes, perfect. Okay, so now our sausage is almost done. My mouth is salivating. Let me know in the comment section below anytime during this video if your stomach starts a rumbling and your mouth starts watering. Let's make some pizza. All right, so first thing I want to talk about when you're putting your sauce on. It's very important that, it, but you don't have to. Here at the Young's House, what I like to do is I like to leave a little edge. And here's how it's done. So you put your sauce on just like so in this manner. And we don't like a lot of sauce. You know, I don't feel like a pizza needs too much sauce, you know? Sometimes they can put a little too much sauce on it, and me personally, I feel like it ruins the pizza. I, I, I'm not a person that likes a lot of sauce, or I don't like a lot of gravy. You know, I, I wanna taste the product and not so much sauce or not so much gravy, you know? So what I'm doing is I'm taking the back of my spoon and I'm just spreading the sauce out nice and evenly, keeping in mind that what I like to do is leave that little lip right there. And what that lets me do is put like a garlic butter sauce on that crust, on that little lip that we leave. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. That's why we have the butter. We're gonna be melting the butter and we're gonna put these beautiful spices into the butter. And when this pizza comes out, we're gonna spread that garlic butter sauce all over our crust, just like so. Got everything nice and sauced up. And now, here, I don't wanna tell you all don't put a lot of sauce on yours because you might be a person that says load the sauce on. And if you wanna load the sauce on, go ahead, have fun with it. Now, Parmesan cheese. I always like to use the kind in the shaker bottle. I love it. But if you want like a fresh Parmesan, absolutely, go ahead, have fun. Okay, look at that, beautiful. That's gorgeous in itself. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go in with this cheese just like so, in this manner. Oh, yes. Woo-wee, I'm so excited. We, we are really saving our, uh, how do I say it? We've been saving our appetite for this pizza. So we are all, all hungry here and we cannot wait. But the thing about this pizza is doesn't take any time. All you really gotta do is if you're gonna use like a chicken, you know, you might make a buffalo chicken pizza or something like that. Always make sure you cook it, of course. Or if you're going to use sausage or bacon, make sure you cook it ahead of time like we did with the sausage. Okay, gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, so we got our cheese on. And the next thing we want to do, let's start adding on our turkey pepperoni or any kind of pepperoni you love. The fun thing about making it at home is you can put on as many pepperonis as you want. This one right here is gonna be, my mouth is salivating. <laughs> like, I can't wait because I know how tasty it's gonna be. Um, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> 
But let's finish this pepperoni pizza and I'll be right back to show you all how to put together this works pizza. I know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say when you're making it at home, you can do edge to edge pepperoni, get wild with it. Look at that one. That one is like really loaded with the pepperoni, but this one, not so much. And the reason why not so much is because we're gonna put the other meat on this one. Look at that big, huge chunk. <laughs> Guys, listen here, you don't know. You don't know how delicious this pizza is until you try it. You have to try it. This is one of my recipes you have to try because we love it. The last time I made a pizza for you all, we made the um, Hawaiian pizza and I believe it had ham on it and it also had pineapple on it. That's one of my favorite pizzas. I don't order it often like that because not everyone at my house enjoys you know the thought of pineapples you know being on their pizza but i love the thought of pineapples being on my pizza what i'm doing is i'm scattering a little bit of mushrooms on there just like so don't get crazy with it and then we're going to put some sweet onion on there my goodness talk about a great pizza right here mm, mm, mm. and the bomboli I, I believe you call it bomboli bomboli the crust I love it. I've been using it for years and every once in a while I'll do like a different pizza crust but this one right here it makes me happy. It makes me happy. Always turns out kind of crispy at the bottom but then when you bite into it it's like a pillowy. It's like it's like air. It's just gorgeous and a great flavor you know. All right so now we have our bell peppers on. You wanted to put banana peppers if you like jalapeno put some jalapeno on there and have fun. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We wanna sprinkle some Italian seasoning on the top of both, just like so, gorgeous. And then we're gonna go in with a little tiny bit more cheese. And when I say a little bit, just a little bit more, okay? Boom. In the oven we go 350 degrees until they're both hot and bubbly. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. When I come back, what I, I do want to show you all really interesting, you can see how I put the pizzas right onto the rack. That's something I always like to do. And sometimes you'll see me put a cookie sheet underneath just in case to catch any cheese. But what I'm going to be doing a little later, I'm going to clean out the bottom of my refrigerator so we're all fine. But like I said, put a cookie sheet underneath it, put your pizza on the rack and the, and the crust turns out better. Time for me to show you all how easy it is to make this delicious butter sauce. Here's how it's done. So, we have about a half a stick of butter, and this is just a sweet cream butter. It is unsalted. You can use salted butter, you can use margarine if you wanted to. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some Italian seasoning in. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Put the parsley flakes, cause it's gonna make it gorgeous, right? And put some garlic powder. All right, if you want to put some Parmesan cheese in there, absolutely you could. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, just like so, and then we're going to mix it up. So now I have my um, silicone brush here that when that pizza comes out of the oven, like I said, we're going to just smear this garlic butter sauce right on top of that crust, and if you wanted to, sprinkle some all over your pizza. But look at it it's beautiful and it tastes good. When I come back, the pizzas are going to be coming out. So our first pizza is out of the oven. We're gonna take the sauce and we're going to drizzle it, kind of paint it on that crust and listen here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, of course the other one takes a little bit longer. How come? Well, because it has quite a bit more ingredients on it. You know, look at that and that little bit of extra garlic butter that just drizzles over there. Let it kind of purposely happen. It's very important that we will let our pizza set for a minute before we slice into them because uh, there is a possibility that you slice into them while they're really hot and all of your, um, you know, all of your product is going to come falling off. Give it at least five to seven minutes to cool down a little bit, then you cut into it. Our second pizza is out, same thing. Get that garlic butter sauce all over your crust. Yes. Oh, oh, oh wait. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style, homemade pizza, make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoy this here video, 
give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say our prayer because I know you all wanna take a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins, come into our hearts, we make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace of our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rope over our head. The food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again, to my beautiful prayer, I like to show you how I like to cut pizza. Some people like it in triangles. I grew up on the type of pizza that was cut in a square. Look at this. Look at the garlic butter. Like, seriously, Gina? <laughs> oh, you bet. Look at that. And that's just the pepperoni and cheese. Oh, my goodness, girl. <laughs> you something else in that kitchen. You hear me? <laughs> All right, and now, and now, come on in. Mm. It's loaded, and my mouth is ready for this pizza. Look at that. Take a bite. Let me know what you all think. Ooh, and as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. God bless. Good night.